Mission start! Hey guys, it's Kyle and Denzel, and uh, we got a video for you: how to make your own custom icons, requested by Super Cheesy ninety five. Good job. Yep, I remembered it for the first time ever. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and pick some images like these custom images that it came from a theme I downloaded, and we're gonna replace iPod and Mail. I think is what he requested. So I'm gonna go I'm into Safari. I'm pretty sure it was Music and Mail. Oh, was it? Music and mail? Let's check. Uh, music and mail. Good call. Alright, so actually, let's just use his icon. Uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find square-shaped images, so we're just going to take this and drag it to my desktop. And for mail, Digifreaker looks kind of cool. Isn't that the Akatsuki or whatever? Symbol? Why not? <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Alright, so that now we have some images. What we need to do is we need to make them... 60 pixels by 60 pixels. So we're going to open up both of them and or with preview. And in order to change the size of them, I don't know how big they are now, but if they're 60 already, we won't even have to do this. But just for uh, the purposes of this video, we're going to go ahead and go to, I think it's tools, adjust size. And then for this one, you can go and set it to pixels because sometimes it'll be inches or whatever. So set it to pixels and go 60 and it should auto fix the 60. Okay. And click OK. And now this one will be smaller. Let's do the same thing with this one. Tools, adjust size. And it it has to be 60. Don't think that if you like make it 120, it'll be really high definition or whatever. Um, it won't. It won't, it just won't recognize it. So now we have two uh, 60 by 60 images, right? Mm -hmm. And we're gonna go to leave this and we're gonna save all. So now these things will be slightly smaller and slightly less um, resolution. If you want to do uh, something a little bit more creative, make it like a circle or, you know, obviously photo edit, I recommend GIMP. This is for Mac, but uh, for Windows, I would just use Photoshop or a free version of that or something along those lines. But, um, yeah, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take these and name them what they need to be. And first of all, we need to name this one mail and since I have my uh, icon names M A I L capital M and then you need to make this a dot PNG file and it's gonna ask you if you want to change it we want to make it a PNG so that it will match up with all the other ones and then what we're gonna do is we're going to backspace out the file type and then do the same thing with this one this one's what again Denzel um, music but since we have an iPod on here it will only show up with iPod okay so let's do that so we'll do I, oop, lowercase i, p o d, and dot p n g. And we're going to go ahead and save that, use png, and then backspace out. Oops. And I backspace out the thing. So now we have both 60 by 60s, and they're named it. So then you're going to make a folder and name it whatever you want to call your theme. I have test drive. And inside that theme, you can name this whatever you want. You need to name a folder icons, capital I C O N S. I'm going to take that, open it up, and drag those images in there. And so you got two icons for iPod and Mail under your icons in your theme. Then you're going to go over to your OpenSSH client and go to private var slash theme. So what you're going to do is you're going to be presented with something along those lines. I think it defaults you to something, but you're going to go all the way to the top and go private var, what is it, Kent Denzel? Stash. Stash, I believe. Stash and then themes. And it's going to have a crazy amount, but don't worry about that. So this is all of your winterboard themes. I obviously have quite a few installed. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your little theme and drag it in here. Don't drag it into one of the folders. This will show up. Drag it in over on the right side. And if you're on Windows, use WinSCP. And then this is going to transfer, test drive complete, and my little growl thing told me that. And now what we can do is we can go into Winterboard on our device, 
And at the top should be our theme. There it is, yay. So we're gonna check that one. And since it's at the top, I believe it will replace the icons and it's gonna respring and we'll come back when it is resprung. And we're back. And as you can see, we have the two icons, our iPod and our mail are replaced. Unfortunately, they're that, they have that unsightly like square shape. And if you want to, you can just use GIMP and you know edit some of that stuff out. But this is basically just how to change it. And uh, if you guys want to know how to create like nicer looking icons, you guys can request that. Or how to replace uh, like a create a doc or background or whatever. So this has been uh, a video with Ka and Denzel from Mission Start. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Good night.